Maureen Leshman's cousin, Romy Gonan, was shot and wounded before being abducted a year ago today, which was the last time the family heard from her. And Maureen joins us now live here at CB24. Maureen, uh, really appreciate you joining us on what must be an absolutely difficult uh, and horrific anniversary. I, I wonder if you could describe to us, you know, where your head and heart is at on this anniversary. I wish I had the words to be able to. It's incredibly difficult to reconcile that a year has already passed. On the one hand, it feels like it was just yesterday. And in the same moment, it feels like an eternity ago. Um, the fear and the confusion and the shock of that day is still so fresh because Romy is still being held against her will. And there are so many unknowns, so many questions and very little answers. Mm -hmm. And I understand that uh, Romy, you know, your family did something uh, this summer to mark Romy's birthday. Uh, I'm not sure if she turned 24 this year. Yes. Uh, wh what was that like? <sighs> Devastating to know that she's in a tunnel in Gaza, likely unable to breathe, uh, likely not eating or drinking or even getting proper medical attention. The, what we decided to do was um, our family in Israel decided to blow a birthday candle for her. Um, the entire family attended. Thousands of people came to Tel Aviv all wearing leopard, Romy's mm -hmm. favorite print color. Bars across Tel Aviv and actually even some bars here in Toronto served her favorite cocktail. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a fundraiser on a crowd change called Hope for Romy because we are preparing for her return and for her recovery. How do you hold that hope, Maureen, you know, a year in, uh, considering what you've described as likely the conditions she's, she's living in, surviving in, and, and keeping that hope alive that she will, in fact, come home? You don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. We do know that Romy is alive. Everything that, uh, any news that came about after November 30th is confidential to the family, so as to not put any of the hostages in further danger. Mm -hmm. What I can tell you is that the family has been given proof of life, mm -hmm. okay. so we don't have a choice. Right. You know, what would you do if this was your child? Yeah. Or your, your friend, or your parent? Mm -hmm. No, Maureen, um, Romy's sister Yarden uh, put out a statement uh, during a protest saying, how can I continue to exist in this world when I see people aren't doing everything they can to return the hostages? That feeling of powerlessness when a loved one you know is suffering somewhere and you can't, your hands are basically tied. What does the family do every day trying to get answers, trying to bring her home? Survival mode. I think that right now everyone is just in survival mode. I heard a term, emotional whiplash, and that's exactly what it's felt like. On the one hand, we have our incredible community that comes together, and even people in the Christian community and Iranian community and Hindu community that have come to support us, and that, that holds us. And then on the other hand, you're dealing with the hateful rhetoric, the violence, the people pulling down posters of innocent, kidnapped people. Mm -hmm. So it's we're in survival mode right now. Maureen, how do you in your head reconcile the events of what occurred on this day last year and then and then see what has come of it? Um, protests and support. How do you kind of wrap your head around what you've seen and experienced? I think first and foremost, it's anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. I do think that our government has allowed the hateful rhetoric to to be on our streets. I would love to see our Canadian government truly lead um, and show Canadian citizens that we care about people, we care about innocent lives, we care about humanity. It, it's hard to reconcile. It, it, it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, Maureen, we only have about a minute left, um, but if you could send a message to Romy today, what would you say to her? Take your time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that this happened to you. 
sorry that so many people in the world have remained silent. But know that there are th hundreds of thousands of people that have never met you and are fighting for you to come home to hold on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you can include us among those people, Maureen. We appreciate you being here today. We know this is difficult, but thank you so much for talking not only about Romy, uh, but of course uh, what's going on. Thank you for being here and uh, continued mm -hmm. support. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Maureen. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back with more right after this.